so Brandy, we are in uh, Nantes. Yes. You are my host for almost a week. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was really lovely and thoughtful. I told her that I've been uh, over a month in France. I'm no French food. <laughs> Everybody cooks me timballo, lasagne, pizza, so much pasta, but no French food, so you didn't want to cook and you brought me to your mother. <laughs> exactly. So we went to the countryside and her mom made a very nice French meal with a perro, main course, we had cheese, we had dessert, we had wine. So thank you for making me experience my first French meal. <laughs> and you brought me to eat uh, gaillette. Yes, yes. Galette and, uh, and crepes. Yes. Crepes were uh, half Italian. Yes, <laughs> <It was laughs> with Nutella. Nutella. Yeah. So thank you very much for the hospitality. You're welcome. And you are a warm shower host and you also hosted Bruno and Isabel that uh, hosted me in Normandy and that they cycle around the world for 15 years. So you're hosting the best of it. <laughs> la creme de la creme. <laughs> Grazie <laughs> mille! <laughs> thank you for coming uh, ah, it's, uh, in Nantes, it was very... Thanks, thanks to you that you gave me a home. Thank you very much. Great. Have a safe trip. Cheers. And keep safe. And yes. I'll see you on the road maybe. Yes, I, I hope so. I left Nantes, but I was gonna follow the... the Leroy. Till, uh, till the ocean. But to be honest, it's a bit boring. I think I will uh, cut it a bit short. All right, I'm almost till the end. I might just as well go. It's probably 10, 15 kilometers. And see what's at the end. That's it, the estuary of the Larva. Very underwhelming, very underwhelming where the river meets the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. Nice little beach, very shitty water. It's brown, very brown. It's as brown as the sand. I don't understand why people cannot travel like 20 kilometers further north or south, but their water is much better. This is a better uh, village. But yeah, we are already south. came to the campsite to ask for water and then they, they invited me to go to the swimming pool. So I came to this camping site to get some water and I found uh, a couple of guys that they invited me for, uh, to the swimming pool and to have pasta and to sleep here. Very nice. Argentinos and Francia, no? Así es, acá estamos. Pedí agua y me brindaron posada. Por la noche. Muy agradecido. Y pasta. Una pasta mejor que en Italia. Mejor que en Italia. <risa> Porque eso... Chef de cocina. El italiano, no es argentino. <risa> Solo me <es> italiano. <risa> Los argentinos son mitad italiano. Mitad italiano. Oriundo. Oriundo. Muchas gracias. Y un gusto, un placer con haberte conocido. <risa> Yeah, so he's Italian, Argentinian, and he married um, a French girl, and they live in Nantes, and they have this, uh, this place in the, the campsite, they come on the weekends, and a uh, really nice guy, uh, even his wife, lovely, and uh, he was a professional uh, handball player, he also played for the um, Italian national team, because he has an Italian uh, citizenship. And uh, yeah, so very good night. The bike is back 
And now let's hit the road to Ralochev. I should have tailwind. This is the first time I have tailwind uh, since cycling up to Norca. Even for uh, oysters, another goodies from the sea, seashells. Back on the coast for a little bit. Beautiful Faison. This place is not good for camping because there, uh, there's water everywhere. I don't know how you call this. Marshland. It's not a swamp. I don't know. But definitely not a good place to camp. Too much water. Mosquito, very humid, terrible, terrible place to camp. It's 9.30. 9.30, maybe it's time to look for a place to camp. The sunset is around 10. I did 117 kilometers. So, yeah, let's say 120 kilometers. Uh, good, good progress. Could have done more, but it was a productive day because I also stopped to edit a video in the afternoon, like two, three hours. At the first chance, I will, uh, I will stop to camp. I don't like uh, this forest because it's full of bugs, little flies. Let's see if we find something outside the forest. More like exposed to the wind. Nice sunset. Let's have a look around. Maybe take a picture of the sunset. I'm gonna camp here. The road is over there and it's fence. I'll show you in the morning, but the, the fence uh, was collapsed. I mean, someone knock it down. Yeah, there's this table. And I'm gonna pitch my tent here. It's 
pretty clean. There's a trail, so there might be some people passing by. guys this was my campsite of last night it was great uh, I knew the tent was gonna be a little dirty but it's it's just a dry debris from uh, from the trees and I will just shake the tent and it will be fine those trees they don't uh, they don't leak out stuff it's just some dry leaves so yeah because sometimes you have to be careful under which tree you camp because they might leak out some uh, raisin uh, which is not good for the tent especially if you put the fly sheet but last night was quite uh, warm uh, it was the first time uh, that i feel quite warm and uh, so yeah it was uh, there was no need for the fly sheet and uh, yeah, it got a bit chilly during the night, but I had my, my quilt from Cumulus and I used it as a blanket. And now I will just um, pack, eat a little bit of breakfast and uh, clean up the place, leave no trace and uh, let's get to La Rochelle. You can see now how I find the place last night. But as you can see, the fence was knocked down already like this. I didn't do anything. Another day, I'm still alive and I'm on the road. How amazing is that? Bonjour. Yesterday, a bit of tailwind. Today, we are back to the usual headwind. Very windy. Today is warm. Very warm. I mean, warmish. For me, above 30 degrees, it starts to feel summer. And I think today we are above 30, so it's not very, very warm. It's not so done. Yeah. Let's hope we get uh, into the late 30s. That'd be fun. La Rochelle. Let's have a look around. Now we'll do a time lapse. It's better, no? The part is very, very big. There are thousands, thousands of uh, boats. It's quite big, thousands and thousands of these little boats. They are all like sailing boats. Nothing commercial. But it goes like basically one kilometer. It's a big, big marina. Triboard Sailing Lab. Uh, this is where they develop the co-conception. Yeah. Let's uh, have a look at the 
Ah, it's nice. Let's uh, get some secrets of new products. Oh, it's a really nice lab. It's called Fab Lab. I don't know if you can see it, but they have all sorts of tools. This is where uh, the new products of Decathlon for uh, sailing are developed. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble for filming uh, industrial secrets. And uh, the guy that hosted me in uh, Lille, uh, Nathan, he works for uh, Decathlon and uh, he's part of the adventure team or bike adventure team. I don't know if it's just bikes or in general. And uh, the main base of Decathlon is that the, the head office are in, uh, are in Lille. Not sure what to do in these places. I mean, kind of nice. But what do you want me to show you? There's not much going on from my perspective. Just riding around a little bit and, uh, and fuck off. It's not like I can go to a restaurant and show you the tasty menu. Taking a little detour for the bridge. I wanna go on that island. Ilde, Ildere. Can light the world up one spark at a time. 